Hey guys, Sugar Daddy Shaves here, and we have the 13th shave of August, austere August, and we're going to be using the Nasset as usual, the Martin de Condre Vetiver soap, the Samoga Owners Club with the Taj Handle Bore Brush, and the Fatip Open Comb with a Piccolo Handle. This is the special edition that I got it from Connaught Shaving that comes with the closed comb as well. Get this boar back in the water. He's already very soft, so he doesn't, you know, quite need tons of uh, pre soaking. But let's just put it back in there. All right, I did take a shower before the shave, and so my face is nice and hydrated. Um, I use Sterling bar soap to wash, so those the oils that are typically on my face really shouldn't be there quite as, uh, as much. Matter of fact, here's the soap here. I wanted to show you. Um, there is a Dollar Tree snap and lock container, and this is it. And um, if you can't, I'm sure you can't read that. Sure Fresh Clip Lock Closure Container and Lid, 1.38 cups or 330 milliliters is the size. And this uh, bar of soap has only been used once, and so this container easily holds it. There's a smaller container that will probably hold the soap after it gets reduced by a few washes just to show off a Dollar Tree product there in case you want to do that. The nice thing, and here's the top that goes on it, the nice thing about this type of container instead of those normal soap dishes is that these will be stackable if you have multiple bars of soap. I believe my, it might have been Warren who um, mentioned that he likes to get these types of soap as well and cut them in half with a serrated kitchen knife and then he leaves, he does that before it gets used, and he leaves the one of the halves in the box. And of course, that's very stackable. And then he uses the other in his shower, and so he doesn't really need to go around, you know, um, very much. So it doesn't need a container, it just stays in the shower till it's done. And then he can, by dividing it that way, he can choose to use another half bar if he wants to do another uh, scent. So I think that's a pretty good idea too. The Nasset, it's got about 300 dots on the wrapper here and I had to start using another counting system. So I started this index card here. So it looks like today is 315. Doing groups of 10 there as I'm sure you figured out. So this is, here's the three dots there, and then here's that bend that it picked up and used 225 when I dropped it. Just to authenticate that I'm using the same blade each time because I am starting to get up there in terms of uses, right? A lot, I definitely have had doubters that don't believe me, and, and that's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna... There might be things I could do to help authenticate things like not break for clips and always keep the blade in the uh, in view of the video, but I'm just not going to bother with that. If you don't believe me, that's okay. That's that's your deal. And pretty well centered the first time. Very good. And let's look at what we've done as far as load times. That's what we're playing with right now. I was using, I uh, got down to a three second load time. And that gave me actually six passes of lather. I counted it in the video and that was about 13 swirls in the soap. Then I wanted, because it had excess, I wanted to continue to reduce the load time. But you know what? I just did a load with 10 swirls and I barely had enough to do the three passes. It was adequate, but it definitely wasn't anything like the three extra swirls. So there's gotta be something else different, right? Well, when I was coming down, starting at 30 seconds, going down to three seconds through the, um, through 15 and seven, you know, that sort of thing. I think I had a, a surplus of water that was in the soap, making it softer. Then when I got down to just, you know, eight swirls, I wasn't adding back in that water. And so I'm going to go back up. What did I decide to do? I wrote it down. Uh, I'm going to go back to 13 swirls, and I think what's happening is I've got a drier soap now. And so eventually I think it'll equal, it'll equal out and we'll land on a nice optimal load. 
Also, I weighed, finally, I weighed the soap, and so far it looks like I'm using up about a gram of water, I'm sorry, a gram of soap per shave. Now, with Sterling and Chiseled Face, I was using up maybe 0.4 grams per shave. I think that's still fairly accurate here because in the beginning I was loading for 30 seconds and I had a lot of soap, a lot of lather passes left over. Uh, last couple times I have not had as many passes left over. And so I think that number is, you know, might really be in the 0.4 range once we stabilize things. Now I'm in a, a different place. Hopefully I'll carry my scale around with me if I travel so that we can measure. Of course the water is going to play into it, but that's why we do tests over a certain length of time so that we can eliminate that water as a variable. All right guys, here is the top of the soap. You can probably tell it reducing gradually over time, um, but we're almost to the two week point. Uh, also, I wanted to show you, um, in, a, in a different video, I showed this little uh, leatherette type case, and it's made for barbers to travel with their scissors. The handles that you hold go here, and then the point sticks here, and it, can, it holds two of them, and I guess these are for combs over here. Well, uh, I figured, hey, this is a good size to contain some shaving stuff, and so actually I, I traveled this past weekend, and I took this with me. And I took, what did I do? I put the razor into one of the things like that. Not a perfect fit, but it seems to work. And we put the uh, marker that I used to do dots with there. And then I just laid my syringe and they're kind of loose. And then it did very well. Held everything nicely. It was really nice to be able to just pick this up and head to the uh, bathroom to do the shave. So uh, this was just like six bucks at a local beauty supply store. All right. Now the water that I added the last time I did 13 swirls, uh, was about three and a half teaspoons, but the lather I did uh, most recently was 10 swirls and it was 1.5 teaspoons. So who knows what it's going to end up in. The 1.5 recently with just the uh, 10 swirls was a lather that was a little bit too wet. So hopefully we won't over wet it this time. All right, so we're going to do 13 swirls, lightly wet, bore brush. Shake out much of the water. That's what I call lightly wet. And here we go, 13 swirls. All right. And there we go, 13. Just doesn't seem like very much. I guess it's really not. Face is very hydrated because of the shower. So let us see what kind of lather we end up with today. It does, and many soaps do this. Look how bubbly it is right away. It's not a problem. Just keep going. The only problem is if you stop and you try to shave with that, it's not going to be nearly as good as what you're going to get if you keep working it. Spoon of water. We know we're going to need that much.
just uh, near to this video in terms of release time is going to be another one I just did with uh, two knots I got from Omo Brush. Don't know how to pronounce that. And it did take a month and a week to get to me from China, but it got to me during these COVID days. I'm pretty happy with that time frame. I got a motherload knot and a Manchuria finest two band badger. I've got two of those and I'm gonna put them in some handles and looking forward to it. Motherload is a uh, supposed to be a super soft, about the softest they come, synthetic. All right, we have, looks like we've got a reasonable amount of lather here for three passes. Not bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and add. Almost two teaspoons is the total. Don't want it to get on the face and have to add more water. It's kind of a chore. This brush has been performing wonderfully. Maybe 22 uses now, something like that. It's still quite young, but there are definitely a good many split tips and still more to come. And so it's just going to get even better, softer. Display is nice. All right, guys. Um, just because I'm tired of uh, dealing with a wet lather, let's just use this and see what happens. Okay, let's just go ahead and put in. So now we can just say two, two teaspoons. I just had a little bit left before that. I could just call it two teaspoons. So let's go ahead and integrate that. Still got, you see that jaggedy texture there? With most good soaps, that means it's too dry. But this is kind of a, I mean, okay, with most great, with the great soaps, that's not gonna be there generally. But with, uh, with kind of just good soaps that do a decent job, which is my opinion of MDC, you might have to run it a little drier. Now let me get my face wet. And yes, here we go. Looking at about 24 hours worth of growth of my stubble. Okay, this is definitely not an overwatered lather like I have dealt with in the last two days. And we're definitely going to have enough of it. Look how, you see how that looks on my neck there? Just kind of a little bit on the pasty dry side. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to resist. Weaken it a little bit. Wouldn't it be funny if we were able to kind of isolate conditions and discover it? Almost like a, a power band of soap loading. If you're familiar with dirt bike motorcycles that are two strokes, they have this power band and if you Get the RPMs up in a certain range, all of a sudden the, the torque that the engine has will just amplify it exponentially for a little bit. And that's called the power band, at least it was when I was growing up. Wouldn't it be funny if, you know, we discovered that 13 swirls 
would give you know six passes of lather almost no matter what you did but then 11 swirls would barely give you three you know because maybe those last two swirls finally got the soap to to really release itself you know I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case since I had to add some more soap to my face on the first man I hate this faucet I'm sorry just takes a little mistake on the on my part and it makes a loud noise pull it a little too far now I added another I think we've got three and a half teaspoons of water here and I may have added a little too much so you know what we could do we could take some of this kind of fake concentrate lather here and put it kind of back in the bowl There we go. And let us start with the 315th use of the Nasset. Always remember that we're not trying, at least my, my style and many folks' style is not to take down the whole beard in one shot. But to gradually reduce it. go we don't need to shave in areas that don't have hair on my neck there definitely gotten into trouble doing that it does have a fairly slick feel you know when you work your hand like this and you cover over you move over places that have lather and so that's why it's a good soap but there are many that eclipse it at this day and age at least in my opinion all right so let us gather up the second pass and yeah boy 10 seconds and it was skimpy 13 seconds and it is not at all and I've got, you know, who knows how many passes left in here. Three, maybe. Still. Got the bowl in my sink so that I can kind of rinse my fingertips and, and uh, razor instead of having to pause you or make you listen to the faucet. Cross grain now, since it's the second pass. little tuggy on that first pass but comfortable no problem now and we will rinse because that was pretty fast i used detonate from sterling as my bath soap and i'm kind of glad i did because i definitely think that scent that thick heavy spicy scent lingering around in the bathroom is nice compared to only having this vetiver green type scent. It's spelled Deton, D-E-T-O-N dash, and the number eight. It's inspired by, I think it's Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. 
Yeah, we've got another three passes. This is the third pass on my face, and there's three more passes in the bowl. And that's from just three more seconds of loading based uh, compared to yesterday. Pretty wild. Got a nice cut. I can feel that the razor is just gliding across my my skin, not really cutting too much at this point because so much of that was already done. So this is kind of just a touch up pass and I can go cross grain on my neck here. And I'll definitely go cross grain, but in the other direction in my trouble spot right here to try to get it a little closer. Shaved properly. Put a little, this soap is not good enough to offer a lot of residual slickness. And so I definitely recommend Kind of relathering, you can just use your fingers like I did for smaller areas, or if you need to kind of relather a whole, you know, neck section like that, just get your brush out and flap, flap, flap. All right, full rinse. So there we go. That was a plentiful amount of lather provided by 13 seconds of loading. So you know what I could do? Because the, the water in the soap maybe would have stabilized based on uh, the shorter type of loads. I could try 10 tomorrow, see if it performs, gives me the same lather as the 10 from yesterday. It'd be fun to try out for me. Ha. If you're not analytical, you probably tuned out of my channel anyway, right? Three and a half teaspoons of water is what went with that 13. swirls on the soap and we've cleaned up several things here let's uh, use the balm and then this month I'm using soap commander integrity and this is their unscented and this particular one is benthol free a little bit bigger than amount of a pea shape is easy to spread around when my face is wet you might need to lose, use a little bit more product if your face is dry There we go. Good performer there. If you have dry skin. So that's 315 in the books. All right, guys. Hey, for those of you who have been thinking of my son who got bitten by a copperhead recently, a couple weeks ago, I guess now, he is doing well. He, uh, in many cases, doesn't really wear his bandage. He got bitten in the middle finger and a large blister was developed right there and it has gone away and there's kind of an indentation now with uh you know where several layers of skin were kind of have kind of gone away and it's kind of a little gruesome but he is he's taking it um uh, nicely and he's even using he's starting to use now his pointy finger and thumb in playing with his tablet and uh, and other things and he's not using his middle finger yet he says he's not really moving it very much and i can totally sympathize with that because uh because it's so damaged uh, purple and bruised in many cases and black in some places uh, but it is getting better the swelling is getting better and better each day pain is managed in normal medication like ibuprofen and tylenol and all that so he's on the mend and doing well uh, thank you for those who have um, wished him well so the vetiver was a nice uh, complement to the spice bomb. So if, uh, if I had that detonate as a balm or aftershave splash, that might be a nice follow-up if, uh, if I liked the vetiver scent of this soap and wanted to use it a lot. All right. So there we go. Happy with the shave. Very comfortable. Nice close shave, too. No nicks or irritation or anything like that. And that's also another reason why I use cooler water, lukewarm water, whatever comes out of the cold tap. In the winter, it's cold. <laughs> uh, 
but in the summer it's kind of lukewarm and uh, I find that refreshing. I find that soothing if I do happen to have a little bit of razor burn. Boy, that cold water just does a great job. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for today. I uh, hope that there's been some good in this video to help you out. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You take care. Good night.